part six, we're going to lower bound how long this algorithm takes to run. Uh, and there's a few different ways we can lower bound. You may have done a decision tree argument in 221, which is one way to do lower bounds. Uh, but one nice way to do a lower bound is just to ask how long it takes to look at all of the input. There are problems where you don't have to look at all the input to solve it. They're usually not very interesting. Uh, typically, if you've got a non-trivial instance, you at least have to look at all the input to solve it. So the amount of time it takes just to read the input in gives you a lower bound on the amount of time it takes to solve the problem. And if you can find an algorithm that runs as fast as the amount of time it takes to read the input in, then you're good. Runs as fast asymptotically, of course. You've got an optimal solution asymptotically. Okay, so in terms of instance size, exactly or asymptotically, how big is an instance? Uh, let's see now, what is an instance? Let's, let's run back up again. I think we wrote that out, didn't we? There's a solution. An instance has a couple of natural numbers, nm and nw. Let's just assume it takes constant time to read those in. Uh, and then we've got nm permutations of w. Reading in that per, those permutations, uh, that's going to take as long as the size of w. Uh, again, if we assume that each element of w takes constant time to read in. If you want to get really technical, if we're going to read in elements of w, and there are nw elements of, NW, of, of w, it's going to take log of nw bits to represent that many distinct elements. And so it will take more than constant time to read each of those things. And if you want to get really, really deep into theoretical analysis, you got to think of that kind of thing. Uh, but right here, we don't really care that much. Uh, we'll just say it takes constant time to read in each of these values. And so we'll say it takes NW time uh, to read in each of the permutations. And there are NM of them. So that's NM times NW. Then we've got all of the uh, women's preferences. There are NW permutations of the men. The time to read in one of those permutations is NM. And there are NW of them. So that actually also takes NM times NW time. Well, it takes, if you like, it takes NW times NM. And fortunately, NW times NM is equal to NM times NW. So it looks like in both cases, we come up with the same bound, NM times NW. So the amount of time it's going to take, so the amount of time it's going to take is, this is a lower bound, remember. So it's going to take omega nm times nw time to solve this problem if we have to read in all of the input, which presumably we do.